Hello and welcome back to my channel. Now recently I did a poll asking what you want to see on this channel as I always find it really helpful to know what you guys are looking for and on this poll a guide to buying cameras in thrift shops was right at the top and as someone who worked in charity shops for two years in the UK I think I'm well placed to give some advice. So first up set your expectations. As much as I did find an underpriced Mew 2 this is super rare. But you can find some real hidden gems. So I found my Polaroid 35mm point and shoot camera, which is super cheap and feels super cheap and plasticky. And I'm sorry I go on about it all the time on this channel, but it is my go-to point and shoot camera. But is it the best camera in the world? No. Is it the best point and shoot in the world? No, nowhere near. But does it bring me joy? Yeah, and for me, that's what film photography is all about. So next up, my main piece of advice is know your area. If you don't have many thrift shops in your area then this isn't really for you but if you live somewhere like Brighton like I do here in the UK there are loads of charity shops so I'll set aside an afternoon and go out and try them all. You'll soon work out which charity shops sell cameras and which ones underprice them, which ones overprice them and which ones actually care about the cameras. So there's a couple of charity shops here in the UK which I know they almost always underprice the cameras. But on the flip side of this, they really don't care about them and even if they say they're working, they're normally not and they don't care too much for them. So there is a fine balance. And we'll get on to checking your camera and doing a mini MOT on it a bit later in this video. There are also some charity shops like Oxfam who have an online store. This is handy as you don't need to leave your sofa to buy a camera from a charity shop, but they often know what they have and it's harder to get a good deal. And the shops aren't so desperate to get rid of stock as they can just put it online. Another recommendation from me would definitely be, no matter whether you have one or two local thrift shops or 10 or 20, get to know the staff in them. When I used to work in a charity shop, I had a list of names next to the till and it would have their name, their number and what they're looking for. And it could range from anything like a specific DVD to a pair of shorts in a certain size to film cameras. And it's in their best interest to take this down because they want to sell stock at the end of the day. So go in, make friends. Normally people who work at thrift shops or charity shops are super helpful. And just say what you're looking for. It could be a specific camera or it could just be film cameras. And then if you get that phone call from someone and they got a film camera you're looking for or you're in the thrift shop and you found what you think you want to buy, my strongest piece of advice would be do a quick MOT of the camera, even if it's sold as working. So first up, check the battery compartment if it has one. Make sure the batteries haven't gone all acidic and eroded the compartment as this is often a very hard fix. Also check what kind of batteries it takes. So about two years ago, I bought a film camera from a thrift shop and I didn't check what batteries it takes, got home, realized, and I can't buy the battery size in the UK and I have to import it from China and it's super expensive. Thus, I have just never shot this camera. So please learn from my silly, silly mistakes and check what batteries it takes. Next, try the shutter, make sure it's not jammed and make sure <laughs> it has a good sound because otherwise, what's the point in shooting the film? Just good. Next up, make sure the film actually advances like I just expertly demonstrated for you. <laughs> and make sure the lens is nice and clean and there's no fungus. This camera has caused me nothing but trouble since I bought it. And if it has a built-in light meter, take it around, try it out in different lighting conditions and see if it still works. Of course, this is actually a fixable problem, but it can be a bit of a hassle. And if you're looking to just buy a cheap thrift shop camera to go around with and you don't want to put money into fixing it, this is worth checking. And lastly, as much as I love the physicality of going to a charity shop, thrift shop and feeling the camera, seeing what the shutter feels like, utilize the internet. Look on online forums with your local forums, see if anyone recommends certain shops watch YouTube reviews and when I say this I, I mean it with a pinch of salt. I think photography just like cameras is super subjective and a lot of people probably would hate my Polaroid 35mm point and shoot, they probably wouldn't get on with it. But in the reviews often common problems are pointed out. So like the Olympus trip before I bought it I saw a review which spoke about the selenium cell which is super hard to replace and a lot of hassle. So if you do want to check out a video always take it with a pinch of salt but generally the common problems will be pointed out and one of the things I love about going to the charity shops once you've worked out where you want to go 
is buying cameras with film already in it from the previous owner. I don't know why, a lot of my friends think it's a waste of money spending money developing a film someone else has taken, but it's something I love doing. So please comment down below anything you love finding at Charity Shop, anything you wanna find, or the best thing you've ever found. And I'll see you in the next video.